Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is Google Cloud VMware Engine 106. Create a GCP account. So we're going to start at the main GCP web page, and you can get to this page by going to cloud.google.com, and this will take you to the main front page. Um, it's also the page where if you want to click on the Get Started button at the top of the screen, we'll jump you here and also the sign in button once we've created an account the thing we're going to do in this video also on that page there's useful links for things like docs and there's also a search facility at the top of the page as well so whilst you're looking around the uh, cloud.google.com website you'll see lots of cases where there's lots of statistics about things like regions and zones and edges and locations and countries but then you'll often see little buttons like this at the top of the screen where it's saying that you can either contact sales or you can get a free trial and then again other places around you'll see buttons get started for free if we click on any of those buttons it'll prompt us to sign in with a google account so this could be a gmail account a g suite account or there's even an idea of or a concept of an organizational account which we'll not cover in this video but it's possible to set up a free account that's not tied to g suite or gmail um, it's also a good idea to use two-factor authentication and uh, there's a range of keys specifically people like yubikey make things that are uh, very compatible and very successful using things like uh, google sign-in and if you do do that two-step authentication and sign-in, just remember there are other options there, kind of like don't prompt again or don't ask again. Just be sure that you've, uh, you're have you happy with the settings you've got once you've set that up. And once you're in, you'll get to the Google Cloud Platform Console, which looks a little bit like this, which we'll cover in just a bit more detail now. So we log into the Google Cloud Platform, and in this example, you'll see I've got free credit in the corner. It's $300, which roughly translates to 230 British pounds or UK pounds. And that's me logged into the Google Cloud Platform Console. Two things I want to show in this more this video. The hamburger, that symbol at the top, apparently looks like a hamburger. And when you click on it, you get that menu down the left-hand side. So if you prefer to point and click at things, uh, to do things in a, in a console, use that. If you prefer a command line or a cloud shell, click the button in the top right-hand corner, and you'll get a command line interface as shown at the bottom. So that's how you do things with point and click, and that's how you do things from a command line. So takeaways from this video is you use cloud.google.com to get to the main page. You use console.cloud.google.com for the main GCP console. And you should familiarize yourselves with the hamburger on the left hand side that shows the graphical menu for point and click and the cloud shell icon that opens up a command line interface. It's also worth mentioning that Cloud Shell can also be downloaded and installed on your own computer or installed locally. I don't cover that in this video, but it is possible to do for more advanced users. I just remember there's a free trial available.